Wow, this is this is incredible. So, Rajiv, just to recap, this is ultra lightweight, uh, runs on things smaller than a microcomputer on microcontroller type resources. It's mm -hmm. available for free. I can go get it right now and start using it. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> wow. So I. I I, I remember that, you know, Matt Ellis uh, on your team showed a fantastic demo of this at, in San Diego. I think we should show the audience that. I think it'd be really cool for them to see it. That's a really great idea. It was an incredible demo. Let's uh, bring it up. I know the demo class as an operational excellence demo, but to be honest, I'm not going to do an operational excellence demo. What I'm really excited to talk about today is actually how we're pushing the envelope and bringing machine learning capabilities directly to the edge, on device, zero network connectivity required, and we're genuinely bringing machine learning capabilities via Google TensorFlow and TIBCO Statistica to the developer on device. So you're not bringing on board any cloud, are you? Or a car on stage? <laughs> no, zero cloud. So, so the beauty of this is that the predictive models are actually running at the edge, on device, no cloud required, zero network connectivity required. Wow, let's try and do that. Yeah, so um, I was originally going to bring out the, uh, the Mercedes F1 car up <laughs> on stage and, and show you how I could take uh, data from, uh, from the engine and all this stuff, but, uh, but Thomas was very, very adamant and told me that I was not allowed to touch the car. So, so instead... Probably a good idea in the probably, first place. Probably, yeah. yeah, probably. So, um, so instead what I've got here is a, a Raspberry Pi, so I've built a, uh, a Raspberry Pi. I've taken a, um, an accelerometer, attached the accelerometer to the Pi, and in, actually I've got the Pi running in my pocket with the Flogo application and a Google TensorFlow deep neural network model. So let me show you what I, I did here, okay? Okay, here we go. Wow. <laughs> So I think the cartoon kind of looks like me, no? Kind of cuter, but yeah. And maybe a bit cuter, but maybe, maybe. That's not the point. Mm. Um, okay, so so again, the, the model, um, the, there's a Google TensorFlow deep neural network model running in my pocket um, on device. The cartoon is actually connected, so the device connects to Tipco, via Tipco Cloud Messaging to a, a WebSocket server that uh, WebSocket app that's running in a web browser. So so the accelerometer is collecting roughly three data readings. Uh, per millisecond for, for a total of, if we aggregate down the three, so about 1,000 readings per, per second, okay? Wow. So those 1,000 readings are being aggregated on the device in TensorFlow. They're being processed through a, um, a data prep uh, activity. The data prep activity is then passing the data to uh, a, a deep neural network model implemented in TensorFlow. The model's scoring the data in less than 60 milliseconds. 60 so, milliseconds on an event. 60 milliseconds. Wow on device as well, a low powered device. So here, if I start walking, you can see here that the cartoon has actually changed to walking, right? That's great, yeah. Yeah, so if I stop, the cartoon stops. So what's happening is my behavior is being predicted as I actually take action. Um, the, the prediction is passing through the TensorFlow model with 99% accuracy and streaming that to the, uh, to the web browser and there's literally zero lag all of this happening on device, okay? So to even demonstrate further, you can see the, um, the bar, the probability bar is up in the upper left corner. So if I actually slowly start to move my leg here, you can see the probability adjust in real time as I walk. Again, no network connectivity, all on device. And it's kind of difficult in the first place to predict your behavior, having known you for, you know. <laughs> that's, this is great, this is awesome. So, Amazing demo, and all of this is really running on the device, mm. as you said, you know, running a DNN, yeah. really a classifier on the device itself. But normal developers find it difficult to kind of embrace machine learning. Like, I'm a Java guy, I'm a Go guy, right? I mean, how do I actually learn some of these things? Is it, is it really about bringing the, the, the power of machine learning down into the, the, uh, the average developer's hands? That is exactly what we're doing. So we are working to take machine learning, essentially complex concepts, bringing them to the developer so the developer can use them as they're building out their microservices and deploy on device or any spectrum of, of different cloud-based deployment models. Wow, that, that, is, that is really huge. That is awesome, wow. It's, it's like seeing it again for the first time. I really enjoy that again. I hope uh, 
I hope Matt's not uh, still walking around somewhere. Um, so tell, tell us more, Rajiv, how, how do we, where do we go from there? That, that's amazing. Yeah, no, it, it, it was truly an awesome demo, but, but I think behind every demo, um, as, as clearly in this case, there's an incredibly important message. And the, and the big idea here is that by bringing intelligent behavior out into the edge, we are truly able to unlock value, right? You're, tra- you're able to address use cases uh, in the industrial settings or consumer IoT settings that was simply not possible before, right? So for instance, we've, uh, we've had customers who are looking at building intelligent diagnostic routines on wearables, right, and medical devices. Now these are rich, I mean, these, are, these can literally save lives at the speed of light because you are now able to respond to events um, coming out of sensors on a wearable and are able to score them and act on them without having to talk to the cloud or any on-premise infrastructure and do so without exposing a lot of data um, in, a, in any sort of potentially you know, sort of un, un, you know, unsafe manner. Right. Uh, and all the way to industrial equipment, now that you have actually um, uh, folks who are able to now run predictive maintenance routines on the equipment themselves, thereby acting on it before a costly sort of um, accident occurs, thereby again saving lives and money and time and a lot of effort. So incredible set of use cases across a diverse set of industries. Um, we, we truly believe this is all about unlocking value um, in, in terms of bringing connected intelligence out to the uh, very edge. 